Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for June 5th, 2022 from 1 Corinthians chapter 14, Being Silent. Paul was addressing the use of spiritual gifts and especially the speaking in tongues and then moves into a very important lesson for us as Christians. We need to learn when to speak and when to be silent. Being silent is not a bad thing. Think of it this way. What would happen if somebody interrupted my sermon on a Sunday morning, saying that they had a more important message to give to the people? So Paul is noting that there is a time to be silent for the sake of the church. Keep this in mind as we continue with 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 29. Let two or three prophets speak, and let the others weigh what is said. If a revelation is made to another sitting there, let the first be silent. Not everyone, nor should everyone, be speaking. There is a time for silence and a time for reflection on what is being said. Verse 31 For you can all prophesy one by one, so that all may learn and all may be encouraged. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to prophets. For God is not a God of confusion, but a God of peace. If you have ever ridden on a bus, remember most people traveling on the bus probably have a driver's license and they could also drive the bus. But the bus driver is appointed to drive, not you. So also in the church, there is an order. And when most of the people are supposed to be silent, they should not be offended, for not everyone is called upon to publicly teach. Verse 33, as in all the churches of the saints, The women should keep silent in the churches, for they are not permitted to speak, but should be in submission, as the law also says. If there is anything they desire to learn, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is shameful for a woman to speak in church. Now, this verse has definitely generated a lot of discussion, but... If you think about it in the way of an order, that is, the pastor is the public teacher, just like the bus driver is appointed to drive. So the pastor is appointed to teach. Again, notice that Paul is writing about the public teaching of God's word as the rhetorical questions imply next. Verse 36, or was it from you that the word of God came? Or are you the only one it has reached? If anyone thinks that he is a prophet or spiritual, he should acknowledge that the things I am writing to you are a command of the Lord. If anyone does not recognize this, he is not recognized. You see, even in the Old Testament, God appointed the Levites to serve in the temple and the children of Aaron as priests. Not everyone could be a priest and not everyone could serve in the temple. This was directed and appointed by God. So please take no offense if God tells us just to listen. Verse 39, so my brothers, earnestly desire to prophesy, and do not forbid speaking in tongues, but in all things should be done decently and in order. Yes, God does establish an order. Just like when I ride a bus, I don't kick out the bus driver, but I take my seat on the bus. So also in the church, there are many times that we are called to be silent, to listen, and to learn from God. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. 
And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.